Hi guys, welcome back. Today, I wanted to do an updated what's in my makeup bag because I really feel like um, I've gotten it narrowed down to like my favorite things at the moment and doing my makeup takes me like 12 minutes I feel like uh, which is unheard of for me. I feel like I normally take forever to get ready. So, I mean, of course I have a lot more makeup than this, but these like make, ah, I just dropped it. These main products um, have been my faves and go-to recently and I like having it in a little bag and kind of swapping out things I'm loving at the moment. It's a lot easier than like digging through one big like makeup collection, just having one go bag, I guess. So it's also a little dirty because of course it's cream, but it's just like a cream and brown makeup bag from Amazon. Um, I love it and I've definitely downsized if you see my last one with the amount of makeup I have so I'm very proud of myself anyways these are my faves let's just get started I am probably not gonna go in order just because there's like it's all jumbled in there but I will try to explain and give a good overview so first thing I'm seeing I think this is in my last one was the hourglass ambient lighting palette it's like so scratched Anyways, I got this in the Sephora sale. I have the leopard one and I was like having a hard time adjusting to using this at first, I'm not gonna lie. But now that I've been getting used to like how I like to apply it and what colors I like and how to mix and match everything, I'm obsessed. And I'm wearing it today. I'm like very shiny, my little pimple, ignore that. But I love this, it's so good to have as like a travel Thing. It has everything. So it has the finishing powder, highlight, bronzer, and like three blushes. So really good. Ouch. I just pinched myself. And I like mixing the blushes. So I literally use every single thing in here every day. Um, I'm seeing a lot of brushes right at the top. So I'm just going to grab those. Um, first, oh, I love this. This is the Morphe V106 brush. So it's like a really tiny brush and I love this for precision blush or highlight or um, mid-tone blushing so because it's so little it gets like really good precision with blush like right in there or I take like the Kylie mid-tone blush and put it in the middle so this is versatile for a lot of things I really like it um, this is a great brush also I've been using this to part my hair um, recently so <laughs> random but I love this a really good brush next um, for cream brush I have cream blush my gosh for cream blush I've been using this rare beauty I don't think it has a number but it's just the cream blush one and it's really good for like just cream blush it blends out I mean how many times can I say cream blush really good for that it blends out that their liquid blush it also um, because it has like the duo fibers really nice and light and blends really evenly and also if i feel like my makeup is looking a little too powdery i will literally take this no product just go in and go like this and it adds a little bit more life and skin like texture to my face so good filled it again um this is the like double-ended i don't know what the name of it is but the double-ended like big powder brush i at first was struggling to figure out what to do with this baby but i'm realizing i love taking the finishing powder on this side doing it like all over my face before i do my um the, the rest of my powder blush and contour and all that and then this little tiny one so it's small but not as small as this one good for just like my initial bronzing application like here or blush as well so really good and it just pairs really well with the palette because it's like super light to the touch and doesn't pick up a ton of product which is what i like because i don't like i like to build i don't like to have like a big blob on my face you know then um i have the patrick ta i think it's the double ended contour so this side for cream this side for powder it's obviously amazing i like using this more with the charlotte tilbury bronzer but I've been using this with my cream bronzer a lot. It's like just, it blends really quick. Blends in like two seconds, really good. This will always like, this will always be a staple, I feel. Um, recently I got this BK Beauty 202 like eyeshadow brush. 
because I wanted an eyeshadow brush for like a little bit denser for like applying whatever on my face so I only like to do like one shade really I don't like to do too much eyeshadow and I normally just use my bronzer and this is dense enough to where it does like a good application but it also has accuracy and you can blend with it so i love all of that and i love this brush i placed a single order with like seven dollar shipping just for this thing but worth it this is new actually i just got this it's the tarte foundation kabuki brush this is massive but it blends face makeup so freaking quick i'm obsessed um i wish i put this in my brush video because it's really good but it blends so fast um evenly nice good i mean you could honestly use this for a lot of things cream related like bronzer and blush but i like it for foundation it's really good next um shishado eyelash curler that i'm like losing my shishado eyelash curler this thing is so good if you like this will probably be the only eyelash curler that i use like i, I don't think i need to try anything else this is it if you haven't tried it, you need to. I think that this is like the best one ever, like genuinely. I can't say that about other stuff, but I can say that about this. You need to try, so good. Random, but I have the Refi Primer, Nice in my Primer, I think. I don't love this. Um, I tried it in a video. I don't, like I'm just trying to use it up, honestly, because I don't like being wasteful, but I don't even know if this does anything. <laughs> But I have it, so I'm using it up and I'm getting there, okay? I'm getting there. My all-time favorite foundation, Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. This one is in 6... I think it's in shade 6. I don't even think they sell this foundation anywhere except for on the Charlotte Tilbury website, which I'm like really shocked. I think it's being discontinued. And if it is, I'm going to be really depressed because it's really good. I have this in two shades and it is just amazing. And this one's for olive skin, I think, but... I think it looks really good like so natural so beautiful very small amount of coverage but like you it looks like your skin it looks so good next uh contour cream contour this is the tarte sculpt tape very similar to the charlotte tilbury one packaging the same this one's in cool bronze i like this for how quick and easy it is to apply and i like the color and how easy it is to blend out what i don't like is the packaging like it's nice to use but it gets really messy um no matter how much i clean it so that's annoying but other than that like i really do like it and i'd probably repurchase it i have an assortment of powder puffs and a beauty blender in there so kind of dirty but those that's what's in there uh ooh, loose powder okay so this is the one size translucent setting powder i've tried so many setting powders at this point i don't even know i love the huda beauty one but the fragrance in it was like making my eyes water. So this one, way better, no fragrance, but the color is translucent. So not like too brightening or anything, but it is good for setting and literally gets rid of texture so well. So this is really good. Um, okay, I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow in the dark, the darker shades, shade four. So really dark, too dark to wear on its own. But I like using this like on the edges of my face sometimes if I want some glow. So I have that. Okay, I have the Patrick Ta nose contour, like brush, double-ended, you know, I just blend. Love it. I don't know why I'm showing you, but it's really good, okay? It has that fluffy side. You could even use this to blend eyeshadow if you wanted. And then the dense side for like cream products. Getting your precision going. Love this. Um, and then the Rare Beauty highlighter brush, which... I forget about a lot sometimes. I forget that I have this in there, but it's a good, it's a good brush, okay? I like the shape. Like, look at that. I'm already kind of have some highlight going, so don't need it too much, but brows, Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. I actually haven't been doing my brows. You can probably tell because they look bad, but I'm just trying to grow them out. So I've just been leaving them alone, but I do want to grow them. Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish this is literally a dream product like you need it in your life this is in shade one i feel like i'll never go up a shade i think one is where i'm at because it's good for like lightening and brightening under the eyes i love this for clearing any texture super good amazing i don't know another pressed powder that like i love more than this i think that is the one um i have 
this freckle pin from Amazon way better and more natural looking than freck okay I'm just gonna say it have it on today I also do have real freckles so this just adds more freckles and it looks real so this is this is it okay especially when it starts to dry out you can't really see it. I added some freckles right there but it looks really good I have the hourglass vanished concealer this is in shade I don't know actually the sticker came off but it starts with an S so it's okay I actually don't love this as much as people hyped it up to be but I'm trying to use it up so have that um, it's okay okay the Dior forever is better way better if you're trying to get an expensive concealer Maybelline Lifter gloss this one's in gummy bear I actually got this from my mom but it's really pretty and yeah it's good it's good gloss um, okay three more things I have Latisse this is not makeup but I have it in there okay eyelash serum then the NARS orgasm cream blush okay this stuff is really good I love the powder version and I want to try the cream version does not disappoint very sheer though I will say so if you like the sheerness not a lot of pigmentation this is your girl really good and last but not least my um, mascara L'Oreal telescopic in dark brown it is falling apart but it is the best one I've ever tried from the drugstore at least so I love it that's everything in my makeup bag I should probably clean it out now but yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I, I talked so fast towards the end because the battery light was blinking. Um, but I think we made it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Have a lovely day. Bye, guys.